We want to let folks place an order for pickup by selecting items and adding them to a cart. I already gave you a dedicated order class over here that holds an array of items, this thing right here. So we're going to add items to that class, then show them in a new order view. But there's a catch. If we're adding things inside the item detail, how can we show them in an entirely separate order view? More importantly, how can we make sure both of those update as things change? Well, SwiftUI has a quite brilliant solution called environment objects. These are objects that our views can use freely, but don't create or manage. They get created elsewhere and carry on existing after the view has gone away. In this app, we'll create an instance of our order when the app launches, then pass it into our content view. Any view that's inside the content view, anything that can call a content view its ancestor, will automatically gain access to that environment object. Even better, when any view changes it, all other places automatically update. Let's try it out now. Over here is our scene delegate. And we'll scroll down and find a spot right here on line 15 where we're going to make our order. I'll say var order equals a new order, an instance of our order class. And that creates a new order when the app starts and keeps it alive regardless of what view we show. Now we can just pass that into our content view struct when it gets created inside our method down here will connect to. So I'll scroll down and right here on line 23, that's where we create the initial content view for our application. I'm going to add to that a little bit of extra code. Our content view passing in the environment object of our order. Pass that order into the environment for the content view. Now if I try compiling the code, we'll see it doesn't actually work. We have an error saying here, this thing does not conform to the expected type observable object. What it means is that SwiftUI doesn't understand how its UI is supposed to watch our order class for changes. It doesn't know how it should send and receive notifications when data changes. Think about it. If we select some food from the menu and add it to our order, we want that to appear immediately on the order page. We don't want to have to hit refresh or wait a few seconds. We want it immediately. And for that to work, SwiftUI needs a standard way for objects like order to say, hey, if anyone's watching me, you should know my data just changed. And for that to work, SwiftUI needs a standard way for objects like order to say, hey, if anyone's watching me, you should know my data just changed. This standard already exists, and it's called the Observable Object Protocol. Anything that conforms to Observable Object can be used inside SwiftUI, and publish announcements when its values have changed so the UI can be updated. Apple provides a couple of different ways of publishing change announcements, but the easiest is to use the at published property wrapper before any properties that should trigger change notifications. Just placing at published before a property is enough to have it update any Swift UI views that are watching for changes. It's really powerful. So here in order.swift, I'll say this items property here, when that changes, tell everyone who's watching it. And what I've got to do is write at published var items like that. And that's it. Now our class is configured correctly, we can make conform to observable object like this. Class order conforms to observable object. Boom. And our code is back to compiling again.